And Colin joins us now. Congratulations. What a moment. What was going through your head when they announced your name as the winner? Well, I was astonished, really. Yeah. Um, I never thought for one minute that I would get this far. I mean, I didn't even think... I, my ambition was to be on the telly once, ah. dressed like this. Mm. But it's, it's just gone on and on it's and on. It's grown a bit that. from that. Yes. Like, Is that why you wanted to do it? it was the, what, what, what was your reason for putting yourself through such well, there a big two, thing? Two reasons, basically. Um, in the first instance, it was a bit of a challenge. Uh, after singing, uh, after we have a tradition uh, every month mm. at the hospital mm. that, that the last Friday in the month is called Curry Friday. Right. So in our club, a curry is served, but it's not only the pensioners, but also the staff as well, because there's a wonderful staff there. And um, uh, I, a guy, a friend of mine and I used to, used to we, we, we used to carried on again shortly, but we used to sing for about an hour afterwards. And coming off this, this stage, uh, one chap, and I can't remember who it is, came to me and said, um, it's about time you did what you said you were going to do. I said, well, what are you talking about? Is you always said that as you get older with singing, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. I said, well, that's true, very true. Yeah. He said, well, you will use it then. <laughs> so, so I said, well, how? He said, well, go on, Britain's got talent. I said, oh, don't be silly. That's a silly thing to say. <gasps> He said, I challenge you to do it. So I said, oh, OK. I love that. That is went, brilliant, isn't it? So I went straight back to my berth and, and uh, I downloaded the, the form. Yeah. Sent it in. Within a very short time, I got them, you know, an acknowledgement back uh, with a number. They said, you're in. And, of course, that started the whole... Well, landslide, maelstrom, whatever you want to call well, it. Well, you've got it. I mean, you have a fabulous voice. That lo um, love changes everything, which yes. we sang yeah. last night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it immediately started. I thought, wow, there's a big note at the end of this. Um, and uh, and it was you were rock solid on that yeah. note. You've got a hell of a, a set of lungs on you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that that note was a bit of a worry. I'd like to go and see uh, Stephen Malherne. Oh, of course. In yeah. that chaotic studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, then my, I, they were told me that, that my, my family had gone to the dressing room. Mm. Um, and so my family were there in sort of fair force. How lovely. And my, my son had naturally brought a couple of bottles of hooch in with him. So, <laughs> so they, were, <laughs> they were sitting consuming, consuming it and it was nearly all gone. To the <laughs> You, see? you um you are as a, a Chelsea pensioner at the Royal yeah. Hospital in Chelsea, yeah. which is this the, uh, and 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 obviously as everybody said last night, thank you for everything you've done, and thank you for everything yeah. that the the rest of the residents have uh, have done there for our country, and we're enormously proud of you and and, thank uh, you. and thankful. Um, but what will you do with two hundred and fifty thousand pounds? Because well. you said to me as you as you came in, mm. it's got to be the best old folks' home in the country. Yeah, it is. Um, and so <laughs> so what will you spend your money on? Well, you know. For First of all, the hospital, because we are a charity, you know, and, and we're always collecting for something. Um, and uh, we've got a new centre that we're wanting to build, a visitor centre, mm. activity centre. Um, I'd love to think that I set, I set the whole thing off. Yeah. With a, with a, what a wonderful legacy. Yeah, yeah that's that right, that's right. And of course, I've got family. I've yeah. got um, grandchildren wanting to get on the property ladder and all that sort of thing. And, and of course, A-levels and... Yeah. Well, that's we can't wait to see you on the Royal Variety. I what know. Can't I know. wait to see Wonderful. you. What a, well what a moment you. that's going to be. That's, for you. that's that, that is the zenith. Yes. That's yeah. the ultimate. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, the evening was full of surprises. Uh, what a moment it was when X revealed himself to be 2018 semi finalist Mark Spellman. It was you all along. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> and you managed to keep that quiet from everybody. Yes. Yeah. How? Uh, well, no, a couple of production people. Um, knew that I would be auditioning. Right. Um, but then that was it. It was tight-lipped. Like, it had to be tight-lipped. Secret <laughs> meetings and just, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Oh, you did, it, you did it so well. And, I mean, Simon said last night, actually, a lot of people go on the show, they don't get to where they want to go and then they kind of give up. And you, you know, you were the golden buzzer last year, and the golden buzzer, like, it all looked like it was going very well, but you didn't get to reach the finals. Yeah. To come back and think of something, was that just you always on your agenda? Phillips. Philip's fault. Last year, Philip turned around to me and said, how are you going to top that? Oh. And you were there right. You the audition was so strong last year that it was going to be a real challenge to top it. And clearly, I 
I didn't because the semi-final I was out. Yeah. But there was always that hope was in Isabella's cot the whole way through. It was yeah. a hidden message in there that was going to be the final if I made it last year. Ah. So it's unfinished business. That it was, was left absolutely, over. Absolutely, absolutely. And last night when I saw Colin's uh, audition and his semi-final, I knew. I should have put that money on you, Colin. I really should. Have. <laughs> I, but I knew Co we need a winner like Colin. In, in the times that we're in at the moment, we need a winner like Colin. This country needs a winner like Colin. So yeah. I'm totally. I, all I wanted to do was to get to the final, to finish the story, which you mm. certainly which did. I did. And, and is it finished? I mean, is that a finished story? Because we thought, oh, now it was well, a brilliant I might reveal. Come back as a dog. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. Um, no, it, it was the, <coughs> the reveal of hope because. The audition last year was, you, when you do something on this sort of uh, platform, you get lots of different views and opinions. So you get some people that say, oh, it's a bit of a sob story. Our story last year wasn't a sob story no. because we had our daughter and Tessa beat her cancer. It was a story of it hope was, and inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it was all about, real magic and hope and inspiration. Um, and I just never got to finish, you know, put the full stop on the yeah. story last year. And I, in a way now, I'm really glad that I didn't because otherwise you wouldn't have met X. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I absolutely loved it. It was, it it was, was a hell of a moment. Really Thank was. you both so much. Congratulations Thank you for being so gracious you. Oh, for, for, for Colin I as couldn't well. bow out to someone and, uh, better. And Colin, a great pleasure ah, to meet you. And many, so nice. many congratulations. Thank you very much. Well Thank done. You. Thank you.